How do we have 5% of the world's population and 25% of the prisoners? Why is our prison population for profit? How do we have seven to one black and brown people to whites in prison? It's the new Jim Crow. They got us in the trap. They want to keep us in the trap. Critical thinking. Keep me in this state of mind, huh? Second part in politics. Left and right or wrong. Get the money out. When you explain to the politician in your town, do you know that Hearst, Andrew Mellon, and DuPont got together to create this idea of the war on marijuana, the Mexican word for hemp? And ask them if they knew that the flag that flew over this great country was printed on hemp. Ask them if they knew that everybody in the beginning of this country was mandated to grow hemp. Clothing was made out of hemp. Well, what did Hearst and DuPont do? Hearst bought thousands of acres of woodland. DuPont had the chemicals for reducing it to newsprint. Another thing was happening. All the military uniforms in this great country were made out of hemp. Well, DuPont was coming out with nylon. So what would happen if all your trees and all your chemicals became essentially worthless or in the marketplace had to compete with hemp? Well, you needed to change the hearts and minds of everybody in your country. So what did you do? You printed in all your newspapers that you would turn into a zombie if you smoked hemp. This was reefer madness. And your banker, well, Mr. Mellon was deeply, deeply concerned that he would lose all this business and Hearst and DuPont would go out of business. Now DuPont, chemicals. Chemicals are the basis of Big Pharma. Big Pharma becomes the medicine we take. Well, name a plant, the greatest plant in the world for medicine that you could grow in your backyard. And by the way, grows with half the water necessary for most plants. So here comes Mr. Mellon. Now, Mr. Mellon engineers the first drug czar in the United States, Henry Anzinger. Henry Anzinger then manages to get all these laws changed, so hemp becomes taxed first. That's usually how it happens. And then the next thing, it becomes illegal. They got us in a trap. We're caught up in the trap. Government's not the answer. We need less of that. It's up to the people to take our country back. Cronies on the party. Just in party politics. Yes. And all that shit that flatters. Huh? They thought they had us in the trap. Yeah. But they don't got us in the trap. Critical times put us in that state of mind, huh? If you've got a politician that will not understand the importance of this issue and the problem that we created, then you need to throw them out of office. Oh, my God.